I'm George, and in this Goldfish 12G video, I'm going to be reviewing the MAME Nano Protein Skimmer 3. I was searching for a smaller and quieter protein skimmer for my 30 gallon reef tank when I stumbled upon it on saltwaterconversion.com. The MAME Nano Protein Skimmer 3 is a very small, practical protein skimmer that is specifically designed to skim the smallest nano tanks. It's expensive, and for the nearly $100 price, you get the skimmer body, the waste receptacle, an air stone all tubings and connectors that you're going to need and the only thing that you have to come up with uh, for it to fully function is an air pump. I'll talk about these details more later but for now let's start with the unboxing and setup. I got my main skimmer pretty quickly in the mail and it was well packaged which I anticipated since it looked delicate. Opening the box of the main skimmer 3 was more like unwrapping one of Apple's newest gadgets. It's all clear and white and it looks really modern. The only problem is that it's all in Japanese, so setting it up took some time. The main skimmer is made in Japan, like I said, and it really is beautiful, handcrafted glass skimmer that makes it look simple and attractive. Instead of a big bulky skimmer cup design, it has a simple outlet that feeds to the included collection cup. The body of the main skimmer 3 is slim and at the top even slimmer, so it can easily be placed in the narrowest of all-in-one nano tank compartments. It took me about half an hour to put together and it's really important you handle it with care. It's made out of fragile glass and if you drop it, it's definitely going to break. After finally making it, I had to set it up in my Nuvo 30 gallon reef tank. Even though air driven protein skimmers seem to be going extinct, the main skimmer takes advantage of it by reducing the footprint and also not adding any heat to the tank. One annoying thing is you have to buy your own air pump. I saw this as a plus though because if you keep the air pump in somewhere closed, uh, the actual skimmer itself doesn't make the slightest of a sound. You control how much air goes in it with this small dial and it'll take a day or two to learn the right amount. So although air driven skimmers have mostly fallen out of popularity, I would argue that replacing the air stone is no more maintenance than cleaning out one without it. I also love how the skimmate goes directly into a well sealed container which makes for super easy maintenance. This is about how much I had after one week. Uh, and this is how much I had after two weeks. It is a little watery, but that's better than what my other protein skimmer was giving me. If you can get past the four unboxing, the MAME Skimmer 3 is really an interesting design. The skimming design is not the most aggressive, which means that the MAME Skimmer will pull off mostly the easy to skim proteins, but it's also going to oxygenate the reef tank water and gas off the CO2. In conclusion, here are the positives and the negatives. So the positives are that it's small, quiet, and an easy design. It works really well for nano tanks, which is kind of hard to find. The collection bottle makes for really easy maintenance, and it's going to turn a lot of heads when people see it. The negatives, there's a learning curve to finding the right amount of air. It's expensive, coming in at around $100. The setup is tedious since it's in Japanese, uh, and you have to buy your own air pump and replacement air stones. It's also very fragile. Many of the negatives though are problems that you're going to have to deal with any protein skimmer. So I recommend this one and if you want to buy one, visit saltwaterconversion.com. I'm going to put the link in the description, but this is the only site you can buy these Japanese skimmers in North America. Let me know if you have any questions about them and also let me know if you have one uh, to let us all know how yours is doing for you. If you like this Reef Aquarium shirt, visit reefertees.com. That link will also be in the description. Uh, you can go on there and get all the funny t-shirt designs that I wear. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and check out my Facebook page, George Out.